All right, good day. This is Coach Big Pete of DeepDishFootball.com. It's time now for our conference preview. This is the new revamped DuPage Valley Conference. Uh, as you guys have known, known, some of the teams have left for the Duquesne Conference. So we got five teams in the DuPage Valley Conference. Again, make sure you're following Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Again, my email is Coach Big Pete fp at gmail.com if you have any questions feel free to ask them also feel free to fill out the recruiting questionnaire for deep dish football to make sure that i have your information also if you like my work feel free to leave a tip on the bottom is a paypal link uh leave a tip any tip works uh again it helps out a lot especially paying for utilities to run deep dish football all right so let's get started um, this conference is sort of a tough conference, and I'm going to give the reason why. And I know I'm going to get a lot of laughs and snares, but the teams that, are, that a lot of people think that are going to be um, not so good from last season, they have the players to make a good run. And no one should laugh at Meta Valley, and definitely no one should laugh at uh, Naperville North. Naperville North, yes, Drake Davis, Cal Cogno, they both graduate. Um, Fitzgerald, their offensive coordinator, leaves. But do not laugh off Naperville North. I have Naperville North as my surprise team. And for my top dog teams, I have Naperville Central and Equal Valley. But to be just to be, be honest, this conference is a tough conference. I don't see a really a much more of a weak link in this conference. And while Bonzi Valley is strong, Meta Valley, I know a lot of people are are a little bit, oh, it's Meta Valley. I think they're going to be good. I was impressed with their uh, work on 7-on-7. Seven seven. Very impressed. So, <clears throat> as always, predictions and that, they mean absolute crap. You have to play the game of football. And, again, if you feel that uh, I, I disrespected you or Nate, and you're motivated by that, go ahead and do this. use that as motivation for your season, and I wish you the best of the seasons. But, just one thing quick. If you use it as motivation and you're not motivated for a start of the season already, what does that say about you? Just saying. All right, so let's get started. Naperville Central looks good. Jaded, uh, Reed graduated. Payton Thorne is back. Best quarterback in the state. Luke Hellstrom, underrated offensive lineman. He's back, Naperville Central. Underrated, and I say this with a passion, underrated group of defensive backs that Naperville Central has. Jack Jopes is one of the best safeties in the state of Illinois. That's, that's just my personal belief. Justin uh, Agme, cornerback, is another cornerback to look out for. Jared Schultz, uh, tight end. Sh Schultz, tight end is a key one to look out for. And the sophomore, Sam Jackson, uh, who's already got one uh, one offer. He's, I think he's got one offer already to keep an eye out for. Uh, he is he's going to be something special. He got an offer from the University of Minnesota. Naperville North. Sam Caldrazo, hell of an offensive interior lineman. Bo Richter, great edge rusher. Matt Hines, wide receiver. And Wilborn at running back. Again, Naperville North looks strong. Um, I really do think that a lot of people are uh, not understanding of that team. Um, they got Arthurs at the, as the defensive coordinator now at Naperville North. I really do think Naperville North is going to have a great season. Um, I, they they had a they had a great team last year. I think they have a great team this year. That's just my personal belief. Meta Valley, Keyshawn Baker, and Julian W. Julian W. You know who you are. I am not going to butcher your last name. I do, uh, but you know who you are. You're a hell of a, a safety. Hey, Keyshawn Baker, another hell of a, another great safety. That is key for Meta Valley. Those two guys are going to be key for Meta Valley. Next, Jack ba uh, Baskis, a linebacker, and the, uh, well, junior phenom, 6'5", tight end, Austin Frederick out of Meta, Meta, uh, Meta Valley is another guy that you want to keep a very good close eye on. All right, so after Meta Valley, which... Uh, I saw in 7-7, seven, seven, they, got, they got some size at the wide receiver spot. If they're able to get those two first two games, look out for Meta Valley. Um, 
I really have a strong belief in Medavelli, and I think it helped out a lot uh, where they're positioned in the conference. Next, Wabonzi Valley. Wabonzi Valley, they have Bryce Logan, running back. Uh, he's a junior, if I'm not mistaken. Great kid. Um, he is a talented at young athlete. Uh, Brandon Guido, uh, defensive back for Wabonzi Valley, one of the best defensive backs in the state of Illinois. Harper Cole, one of the best wide receivers and athletes in the state of Illinois. The kid's unbelievable. And another guy to look out for, 2026-5 kid, Sam Skua for Wabonzi Valley offensive tackle. Now, Charles Robinson graduated. He's gone. But again, this is a team to look out for. Murphy does always does a great job of Wabonzi Valley. Um, and again, it's you can't. They have a great chance of making the playoffs, um, just as Naperville North and Meta Valley can have a great season too. Next and last one, Nequa Valley, and this is just a scary team. And I'm just I'm gonna say it right now, well, what I saw from their young quarterback uh, um, Gowski, uh, he's gonna be a junior quarterback, class of 2020 quarterback, could be one of the best in the state of Illinois. Definitely a guy you want to keep an eye out for. Jake Bruner, offensive tackle, athletic offensive tackle, scary offensive tackle. Brent Stair, wide receiver, one of the best wide receivers in the state of Illinois. Sean Larkin, Sheen Larkin, wide receiver, also plays, I think, also defensive back, sort of an athletic type too, another good player. Will Chavere, running back, they have another safety. They have a great group of defensive backs. They have a great group of wide receivers on that line. And they are something, um, and I think um, they got a, uh, trying to figure out the kid's last name. It's going to kill me. Uh, they have the talent to go far. They have the talent to challenge for a state title. They are that good. They are that good. Nequa Valley football is unbelievable. That secondary could be one of the best secondaries in the state of Illinois. That group of wide receivers could be the one of could be one of the better group of wide receivers in the state of Illinois. Everything ha is going to have to come together for that team, but that team can go deep in Equal Valley. So it should be very interesting. But again, in this conference, I got to say, a very good group of underrated defensive backs. A very good group of underrated defensive backs. Um, I think... What's going to be key for this this conference is going to be the running game. That's going to be the personal thing, uh, for the, especially for this conference, because there's some offensive lines that are lacking, and it's going to be a very good uh, sign of what what of what to come after at probably week six, week seven, on the rushing yards per average each game on that offense. So it's going to be an interesting season. In the DuPage Valley, you got five teams now, so it'll be very interesting. And my two favorites are Naperville Central and Equal Valley. My surprise team is Naperville, uh, Naperville North. But again, as I say this again, do not count out Meta Valley this season. Do not count them out. Simple as that. So it should be a good season in the DuPage Valley. Hopefully, you catch a game. Remember, you can vote for Deep This Football Game of the Week every uh, Saturday afternoon, nominated, and then the vote goes till Sunday, and then that will be the Deep This Football Game of the Week for Week 2 as we get into Week 2. Thank you so much. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep This Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. If you like my work, feel free to leave a tip for your PayPal account on the bottom link. Thank you so much, and have a lovely, lovely day.